us, and uh, you know they're they're doing checks right now, and it's just a matter of you know, meeting certain levels and uh, getting okay to, to move forward. So you know, right now, obviously, he's not practicing. First, just that 13 players listed as starting positions on offense. That's obviously, he's not just the 13 guys out there, but the difference. Hope he does. I hope he does. <laughs> no, I hope the officials catch it. <laughs> they will. I know they will. The different sets that they run, though, what type of challenges does that present for you? They're, they're, you know, they're a multiple football team like just about everybody right now. And uh, you know, they've got several guys that are uh, playing very well for them. Uh, probably you know, going into the season, if you said who's their best player, it's the tight end. And he hasn't played yet, although I understand he's practicing this week. So uh, you know, he's an excellent football player. His younger brother is a very good football player, a uh, multi-purpose guy. And the two guys that really merged, obviously, in two games would be the running backs. Both those guys are doing a tremendous job. You know, a lot, lot's been written about Grigsby right now, and rightfully so. But the other guy's uh, an excellent football player too, and they really complement each other. They're different style backs, and um, you know, so in preparation, it gives you it gives you some problems there. And they've got a big physical offensive line, a really good offensive line. Is there any similarities between Iowa State's offense and their offense? Uh, no, I wouldn't compare them. I think, yeah, I don't think that's fair. Very, very different style. I mean, they're just yeah, it's a whole different style of football. Mike certainly had his struggles there in the beginning in Arizona, but you talked about the win over BYU last year in these first two. Do you get the sense that that's a program that's maybe beginning to turn that corner? Uh, that, yeah, that's what I was referring to when I said I think they've got momentum right now. Yeah. I think, uh, you yeah. uh, know, record last year may be similar to what we had in, in uh, 2001, you know, and uh, when, you, when you don't have success, it's a process typically. You know, there are a lot of uh, overnight sensations. It happens occasionally. Uh, but typically it's something that you build to. And, uh, you know, if you look at the victories, I mentioned the BYU game, obviously, the Arizona State game, which is huge for them. Uh, it's not only a conference, but in state, and it's always been a big robbery. But look at the losses, too, and that's why I alluded to the Oregon State, uh, who had a good football team last year, a very good football team, uh, the way they played against USC. And that caught my eye when that, when that, whatever weekend that was, I think it was in October last year. Uh, you know, I perked up on that one knowing that we were playing these guys this year. So. Uh, to me, it's been a process for them, and I think they're they're starting to, uh, you know, uh, enjoy the profit a little bit from what their hard work and it shows up on film. They're a very good looking team on film in all regards. Well, your defensive back it seems like they like to run the ball quite a bit. Uh, These not, guys, yeah. Not only with uh, Grigsby the tailback, but also the quarterback. Talk about how that'll work. Your, yeah. your secondary will have to compensate maybe. You, you know, we lost Green, and uh, they lost their quarterback. And he was a spark for him, uh, not only last year, but that was part of the building process, too. You know, he really grew into a very good football player for him. So uh, they went in with uh, two quarterbacks. You know, I even mentioned or read somewhere recently that uh, Coach Stoops mentioned that, you know, um, uh, Scott's going to start this week. So I guess that, that must be a question he has to answer. Imagine that uh, occasionally. But, uh, yeah, uh, this guy's a good football player, a good athlete, uh, a running threat. So, you know, I got a couple backs back there that are very dangerous, and then the quarterback can pull it down and run, too. Coach, you said that they didn't really, you wouldn't compare them to Iowa State, but is there an opponent? In terms of stuff. But is style. there an opponent, like, in recent memory that you can think of that they do kind of compare to, or would you say they're just completely different? If you ask Norm, Norm would say they look a little bit like us last year. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what he uh, he would describe it. Yeah, that might be fair. Uh, especially right now, I mean, they're, they're geared to run the football. They, they've got guys that can catch it. And, do a good job there, and then you know, if they get the tight end back, he, he's really a, a very uh, dangerous player. You know, he's been really effective and efficient for him. And his younger brother had a big catch in the ball game, you know, uh, caught a ball down the middle for a big, big touchdown. And uh, I remember watching that on TV in Tampa. Actually, I think I was in Tampa. Uh, so you know, they, they, got, they got some guys. Coach, I heard from a non, uh, number of farmers who were touched by the return of the A and F sticker, which I presume was a tribute to. Um, might that come back more often? Yeah, it's days? possible. Yeah, it's possible. I've heard some uh, requests for it since that time, too, so yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I'm a little fuzzy on that one. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what the penalty is either. You know, I guess that's probably the more important question. You know, Texas has a thing on their helmet. It seems like Ohio State's got a bunch of things on theirs, too. So I don't know. I'm not sure how they. Did. Take a sticker of Tiger Hawks off, too. I, I'm not sure whether I'm not going down that road. We'll just stop right there. Yes? Is this a game that's maybe critical in that for Nationals? For, uh, for them or us? Let's go. Yeah, let's go for you. Uh, in, the, in the light of the Big Ten, you know, we've talked about the past couple of years, uh, you know, Ohio State seems to be the whipping boy, and the Big Ten seems to fall in. 
Yeah, you, you know, uh, I guess my thinking really has never been too global, uh, you know, ever. And uh, I'm just more worried about how our team's doing. So, you know, I, I mean, whatever the perceptions are, and I, you know, I will go down that road again, too. I mean, again, you go back to the bowl season. Texas had a good team. That was a pretty good game, Texas, Ohio State. You know, I think everybody thought Missouri had a pretty good team, and you know, Northwestern uh, played them pretty well. You know, so, I, you know, I think all that stuff just comes and goes. I'm, I'm just worried about us beating Arizona. That's, uh, that's where my thoughts are right now because it would sure help us. I mean, we, you know, it's more fun to win. I know that.